I want to be normal. Just like every other guy. Don't leave me out. Come on. There's got to be more to life than worrying about the price of cigarettes, getting a job, what's on TV. I know. I know not normalcy. Don't tell me about normalcy. I want to drive a station wagon with a bunch of kids singing Christmas carols in the back seat. I want to go to the supermarket and compare prices. I want to lose weight while I sleep. I want to buy life insurance. I want to wear pajamas and a bathrobe, sneak into the kitchen in the middle of the night and steal a drumstick out of the refrigerator. I want to worry about my dog's nutrition. Or maybe just order something nice from L.L. Bean Catalog. A nice down parka maybe. A flannel shirt. Something in corduroy. I know all about normalcy. I want to yell at my wife when she goes on a spending spree. I want to help my kids with their grades. I want to fertilize my lawn. I want to order my hamburger my way. Jeez. I want to donate money to impoverished minorities. But all that stuff, that stuff costs money. Being normal is expensive, you know. There was this rat. This rat scratching inside my wall the other night. After a while, it sounded like it was inside of my head. And I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. I'm white. I'm an American. I'm a male. I should be doing better than this. Ozzy and Harriet didn't have rats in the wall. There were no roaches in the beaver's room. <laughs> Even Mr. Ed had heat. What the fuck is this? This rat kept scratching and I realized something. Times have changed. It's a race to the death now. Anyone waiting around for the good life to show up is a fool. Anyone who thinks that playing fair will get you anywhere is blind. Then I said, calm down. Calm down. You're getting all excited about nothing. Sure you're poor. You're an artist. You have an artistic sensibility. Artists are supposed to be poor. And the rat scratch voice inside my head said, fuck that. I want to be rich and I want to be famous. There are, these, these are normal desires that should not be thwarted. If you thwart them, if you oppress them, you get cancer. Shit, I want fame. Look at me. Man, look at me. Fame is what counts. Fame with money. Any jerk can go to the top of some tower with a scope rifle and start shooting at people. But that's shitty fame. I want the good shit. The kind with lots and lots of money. Any slob can win the lottery. It takes time. It takes skill and brains to get the fame and money at the same time. That's success, man. So everyone looks at you wherever you go and they say, That guy? That guy right there? Yeah, he did it. He got everybody to look at him, admire him, and give him money. Their money. At the same time. I heard about this guy. He made $400 million. $400 million. I'd be happy with just 50 million. Most people would still think I was a success. Even if I wasn't as successful as that guy. I don't care what they think. I wouldn't even tell them how much money I have. I would just ride around my stretch limousine and when I got tired of that, I'd go home and I'd have this enormous mansion with 50 rooms. And I'd have this room with a trench around it full of pit bulls. And I'd have a chair that tilts back at a TV set with a remote control and a big bowl of potato chips. And I'd just watch TV all day and change the channels. Maybe I'd just sit in a large bathtub with lots of bubbles, smoke a cigar like Al Pacino and Scarface, but I wouldn't take drugs or have sex. That's too dangerous. I'm getting our head of ourselves here, that's too dangerous. Just give me the money and the food in the dark room and the TV set and a gun so I can shoot the TV set when somebody I don't like comes on. I hate people. They get in the way of good time. Just when everything's getting good, they want something from you. But I want you all to love me, even though I hate all of you. Just to confirm my deep-seated feeling that you're all scum compared to my beneficiaries. Just joking. I'm just, I'm just joking. Chill. Don't get all excited. Nothing to get excited about. Just love me. Tell me I'm great. And pay me. And then we'll be even. And for all the shit you've given me my whole fucking life. I know, I know. What you're all thinking. What a jerk. All he does is talk about himself. Yeah. And what you do? You listen. I was wrong when I was little. I never really got what I wanted. Now it's time to even the score. Even if I tell you my plans, you can't stop me. I'm gonna be so rich and powerful, no one will touch me. And all those rich fucks who lorded over me, all those muscular jocks who kicked sand in my face, all those big boob blondies who laughed at me when I asked them for a date, all those Paternal patronizing administrators <laughs> at school, at the unemployment office, at the IRS, and at the police station. You'll all be sorry. You have no idea what I've got in store for you. <laughs> no idea. 
You know what it means to be really, really rich? You walk into a store, and the jerk behind the counter gives you some shit like, I, I don't know, a smirk at you because he thinks you can't afford the most expensive watch in the case. You know, the look that they give you, they humor you, yes sir, I mean, may I help you? He doesn't want to help you. He doesn't want to help anybody. I mean, he just wants to laugh. He just wants to laugh at me. He wants. He won't show me the watch. He won't take it out. He won't tell me the price. Well, when I make it, I'm gonna go back to that store, and I'm gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy one watch. Oh no, sir. I'm not gonna buy ten watches. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the whole store, the whole store, and then I'll fire that patron as a jerk for laughing at me, and then I'll do one better. I'm going to find out where he lives, and I'm going to buy his apartment building, and I'm going to laugh at him, and I'm going to evict him. One more pathetic homeless person walking the street in a state of permanent depression. Or you know those big thugs that push into you when you're walking down the street and don't say they're sorry or something or nothing? Why? Because they think I can't fight back. They think I'm afraid of them. Well, when I make it, <laughs> listen to this, I'm going to get some big bodyguards. They'll walk with me. I'm gonna go down the street, right? And some fucker pushes into me. I'll just step aside, and, and there's my boy, with the with, with a sock filled with marbles or a straight razor or a 38, and he won't he won't know what hit him. He'll just end up on the ground bleeding, looking up at me, glazed eyes, and I'll just lean over, step over him, and say, "Excuse me. You think I should be ashamed of myself? I have no guilt, because I'm not a man." No, I'm a dog. Roof. You know what I find fascinating? Human nature. The nature of human beings. What they like, what they don't like, what turns them on, what turns them off. What incredible appetites they have. Night after night, they stay glued to their TV sets, watching some pinheaded newscaster go on and on about today's grisly murder or vicious rape. I mean, they munch on popcorn, they suck up TV dinners as they absorb the news pertaining to the day's Mudslide or exploding chemical plant. <laughs> that was dead dying. How to find it? Oh my gosh. I mean, much, much, much. Carl, get some more salt while you're in the kitchen. Oh, wait, wait. Come here. Come here. You have to see this. They're completely buried. Come on, you'll miss it. Oh, shit. There's a commercial coming on. <sighs> and then these same people. Watch shows on educational TV about dolphins, then they cry, <laughs> then they stay up late to watch some old Christmas movie with Jimmy Stewart standing on a bridge <laughs> on Christmas Eve, <laughs> and then they go berserk. The next morning, they jump into their sporty compact cars, drink 10 cups of coffee, and raise each other on the highway while they sing along with some ardent rock singer screaming and yelling about emaciated, dark-skinned, hopeless people during, uh, you know, t turning to dung halfway across the world. So, these people, they feel guilty. So guilty. They race home and, you know, they write out a check for $5. They mail it to some post office in New York City. And they feel so good about themselves. They feel so good. So good. That they go to bed with each other and they kiss and they lick and they suck each other. And they hold each other really, really tight. Because they really, really care. <laughs> I know I'm negative. I know I'm not a nice guy. I mean... I know you all hate me, but I don't care because at least I realize I'm a shit. And for that tiny fragment of truth, I respect myself. That's why normalcy is so far out of my reach because you have to be blind to be normal. You have to like yourself. And the thought of that is so repellent to me that I'm excited to be in the depressing place that I am. <laughs>